a new beginning. Welcome to the first episode of my Iron Man on Dreamscape RSPS. If you guys are new to Dreamscape, you'll be greeted in the chat with a message asking you where you found the server. If you're coming from my videos, be sure to select YouTuber and then type the referral code EGGY for a free tactical box. They're worth about $6 on the shop and actually give some awesome rewards. So the first comment today is actually won themselves two of the tactical boxes. Once again, they're worth about $6 and if you guys want a better chance of winning the first comment prize on every video, make sure to enable post notifications by hitting the bell down below. I'm also going to be giving away five of the brand new Halloween 2019 boxes this video. These are worth $30 in the in-game shop, so I'm going to split them up between five winners, so one each. You guys loved these boxes last time, so I grabbed a few more for you. And today's giveaway is going to be over $150. And to enter, just like always, all you have to do is like the video, comment your in-game name down below, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to turn on post notifications because on every video, the first commenter gets a prize. And make sure to join my Discord using the link down below, as that is where I post every video's giveaway winners. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's get into it. As you know, Iron Man is my favorite game mode. I've been putting a lot of time into Dreamscape lately, and I've been really wanting to start an Iron Man. So I'm sure by now we all know what the Iron Man is. I can't trade, I basically have no player interaction. But on Dreamscape, I have slower XP rates, but I also have a 25% drop rate bonus. Drop rate bonus is huge for customs, so that is definitely going to be helpful. Nah, it's good enough for me. And jumping right into the world of Dreamscape. We get ourselves our Iron Man set, the Iron Man sword, which is actually massive, as well as the hiker backpack. One of the first things I'm going to be doing on this account is definitely the starter tasks. You get a lot of DS coins from completing it, which you can get some really good boosts from the shops from. First one to open up the bank real quick, and the second is to kill a penguin at colon colon M box. Completing that one and the next one is going to be bury the bones on the altar. So over to colon colon edge and using the penguin bone on the altar real quick. 5k XP, that's not even that bad. Over to colon colon shops and buying a spade. Check out the starter boss. So colon colon starter boss in the chat. Next one is going to be grab a slayer task and our task is going to be 21 Pikachu. The next one is actually going to be get item info. So I can just right click my DS coins and grab info on that. Open the achievements interface in the quest tab. Check out colon colon wiki and opening up the tutorial book, cut down a tree at colon colon woodcut. I know these tasks for some of you may seem a little tedious or kind of pointless, but it's mainly for new players to get their first tour around the game. View the loyalty task streak rewards, so clicking on that in loyalty task streak. View the daily task manager at home. Check out the dice zone. And colon colon rules for the last one. Well, just like that, another 1400 DS coins and a quick little tour around Dreamscape. So on my starter package, I do have 20 crystal keys and three mystery boxes. Opening up the boxes, I got pretty trash, but the crystal keys are what I was more so looking forward to. Let's see what we can get. Yo, the first one, Flame Pernix. The Golden Chain, the Royal Sickle, I would really like an Icy Katana. The Ring of Wealth, and Dragon Bone Plate Legs upgraded. Oh, I just got the Dragor Offhand, that's actually so good. Okay, I'm actually just realizing I'm gonna need about 168 bones to get to level 70 prayer to unlock Piety. So it really didn't take that long to grind out the first 50, especially because my gear is really strong and my levels are getting up there really quickly. So I'm going to camp out the penguins for about another 130, hopefully gather up a few more mystery boxes, and I guess I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Alright, I'm not really sure who, but one of the admins is at- oh, it's CJ. He's actually spamming Thanos at home. I managed to get myself one of the event boxes already. Oh, an Invictus box. That's actually so good. That's really not that good, but still an upgrade. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a couple minutes when I grab a couple more event boxes. And there we are, a few Thanos later, and I have myself five more event boxes. So let's see what we get from these. Two Invictus boxes. Yo, a dynamic box. These are so good. And the last one, two more. Man, that's actually crazy. Okay, two dynamic boxes, four Invictus boxes, and a box of wealth. I've actually never opened up the wealth, so holy shit. I just got like 150k, that's worth. From a dynamic box, oh, the assault rifle. And an American tour of a body. Bro, that is so good. All right, we have four Invictus boxes. Trash, 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 and trash. What do you mean? Anyways, the American Torva and the Assault Rifle is actually so nice. The Thanos World event is actually pretty cool. Anyways, I'm currently sitting at about 87 Penguin Bones, so about 100 to go. Oh my god, that American Torva body gives me like 40 more strength. Alrighty, guys, so I spent $100. I bought an Extreme Donator ticket and two of the brand new Halloween 19 boxes. Got myself the Extreme Donator rank. Definitely going to be worth it and the two boxes. I don't know if I've told you, but cash is really useless on Iron Man, so it's essentially just gonna be a collection. The main reason why I actually bought these is for the cosmetics. So, please? Yo, I got zombie gloves. Got the Sword of the Protectorate. Bro, that's so fucking rare. I just wanted cosmetics. Holy fuck. Anyways, uh, next one. Oh, I got Jack Suit. That actually looks really nice. As well with the custom N4A1. The sword, the M4, 
jack suit, zombie gloves, and 12 mil. Like I said, coins are extremely useless on Iron Man. Alright, I actually forgot how many bones I needed, but I'm currently sitting at about 147, and I'm not really sure where, but I picked up an infinity key. Also, I did just vote before I'm using these bones, but 147 bones to see if I can actually get to level 70. Yo, no way! That's another huge upgrade! I just got the upgraded Drygor offhand. I decided to kill a few of the tanks just to speed it up, but that's honestly amazing. Also, just using my infinity key on the infinity chest at colon colon soul room. Yo, what did, what did I just get? Oh, I got a golden brutal whip. Yo, that looks so good. Look at that. And I've got some decent strength bonus added on top of that as well. And that's gonna be the last penguin for level 70 prayer. Now we've unlocked Pidey, finally. So currently, we have a Slayer task of Pikachu, and I really want to get that done. I want to rush Slayer as quick as I can on this account. So, over to Colon Colon Train, and we got a pile of Pikachus over here. Yo, I'm literally surrounded by these things. Anyways, only 21 to go, and then we're gonna grab another Slayer task. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. No way, like 10 kills in, I just got my first pet on the account. Oh my god, I just got the Pikachu Jr. That's actually sick. I don't think it has any actual bonuses, but your boy's got his first pet. First Slayer task done, got level 44 Slayer, and got myself a few more keys. Collected my first common Slayer key, but grabbing my second task, 49 more Pikachu, that's easy enough. Bro, I have five fucking Pikachu pets now. God damn. I also got myself an Aqua Whip, a lot of Crystal Keys, and my first Lamp. No idea how much XP this is gonna be, but right into Slayer. What the fuck? That was 1k XP. Anyways, there's a Slayer Master right here, and what I'm going to be doing is quickly doing five Slayer tasks. I'm gonna save all of the loot in my inventory from those tasks and give you guys updates along the way. But like I said, I wanna rush Slayer as quick as I can so I can actually prestige and open up the shops. Task number one of the streak is going to be 47 Mini Grador. Completing the first of our five Slayer tasks, I got myself a Bando Spear from that. I have no idea what that is. But anyways, our stack, we have 23 keys, 26 boxes. Let's go grab another task. Come on, penguins. Mini Cree, bro, unlucky. All right, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Hmm, I wonder how long my Slayer task has been done for. Well, let's go grab the third task, and 43 Callisto. Slayer task number three done, literally didn't get a single notable drop. Number four, yo, mini titans, bro, stop with the mini bosses. Give me some, like, penguins or something, bro. Mini titans completed, let's go grab our fifth task. Please, anything but the mini bosses, that's all I'm asking for. Hey, that works. 32 steroid penguin. Those are really good XP, more prayer XP, and a lot of mystery boxes. We currently have 62 boxes and 32 keys. Yo, and I just got the Royal Sickle upgraded from those. Nice. One more, and then we have a lot of stuff to open. So, after five tasks, we have one common Slayer key, two more Infinity keys, 72 mystery boxes, and another 43 Crystal keys. Opening up the Infinity Keys, let's see what we get. Yo, flippers and an American party hat. Equipping my first party hat gets me the achievement party time, but I don't really care about that. But the flippers are some nice fashion scape. Opening up the mystery boxes, there really isn't too much actually good for me. Except for that flame pernix, that's pretty good. But most of the mystery box stuff is really just junk. And the last 20, got a flame Torva helm there. 43 crystal keys, let's see what we can get from this. The one piece of upgraded dragon bone I get is a dupe. Oh, dragon bone legs. And the plate body, easy. Well, there's our new best and slot melee setup. And after maybe an hour or so of Slayer, I've actually ended at level 70. I also just realized I have a clue scroll sitting on my bank. So I have to equip flared trousers, a black cavalier, ice gloves, and then dance and Varrock. So if you guys don't know, you can just talk to Surak Magus, and he will give you any of the clue scroll items. Looking fucking fancy. 4,000 DS coins. That's actually kind of shit. We are looking pretty badass already. I am in love with the look of the flame pernix. But there is one thing I am missing. I fucking hate picking items up. So for that, I'm going to be getting the collector's necklace, or at least trying to be. And I'll be getting that through the PK point shop. The way I'll actually be getting PK points is I'm going to be camping the revenants hoping that I get the emblem drops, and then I can exchange them for the points. I know this is going to be quite a long grind, but it's going to be one of the first things that I actually want to get out of the way. And for now, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I'm honestly having so much fun on Dreamscape. If you guys haven't already, be sure to check it out using the link down below. And don't forget to enter that massive giveaway, just like always. But guys, let me know your thoughts on the series and any suggestions for the Iron Man on Dreamscape because this is technically my first playthrough. Be sure to join my Discord using the link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and later! Thank you.